So when it comes to using background music and sound effects inside of ScreenFlow, it's actually pretty simple, but there's this whole question about where to find background music and sound effects that aren't gonna get you into copyright trouble. ScreenFlow has their own built-in media library that you can pay between 50 to 80 bucks a year, depending on uh, whether you bundle it with your ScreenFlow uh, license or not. And this allows you to gain access to an ever-growing library of well over 500,000 unique images, audio, and video clips. Now, I love the idea that they have a media library built in. And if you wanna check it out, you can use the link down in the description. But I don't know how extensive that library of music is. And that's why I recommend a few other sources for background music and sound effects that we'll talk about in just a moment. Before we dive into ScreenFlow and add music to this project, I wanna to touch briefly on the legality around using background music in your videos for YouTube or any social media platform so that you don't get in trouble. When you're creating a video for YouTube, for example, and you want to use background music that you didn't create yourself, you're looking for something called royalty-free background music. Whether you pay zero dollars for it or whether you pay for the license or the permission to use that, royalty-free background music is music that you essentially have permission to use in the video that you're creating from the copyright holder of that music. So when you or I create something, art, music, books, junk mail, or YouTube videos themselves, we, the creator of that thing, owns the right to copy that thing, hence copyright. No one else has the right to use the thing that we created without our permission. So royalty-free music is music that the creator or the copyright holder is giving someone else, you, me, whoever, the permission to use in their YouTube videos. It's a little bit more nuanced than that, and I'm not an attorney, and this is not legal advice, but there are plenty of places that we can find royalty-free music that we can have permission to use in our YouTube videos. And once you find that music or that sound effect track that you're looking for, all you have to do is download that file, just like a regular video file or photo, import it into ScreenFlow through the media panel, and then drag and drop it onto your project wherever it is that you want it to go. And then you have a panel over here for your audio controls. So you wanna make sure that you have it actually selected and you can lower the volume. You can see those waveforms change as I do that. You can raise the volume but there's a really good chance you're actually gonna to wanna to lower it quite a bit. You can also mute it completely if you wanted to. There is a, a few other settings in here like ducking where it's going to automatically detect where you're speaking and then duck the music down a little bit automatically. I never really trust that automatic function, so I tend to just mess with it myself but it's there if you wanna check it out. You can uh, play around with smoothing the volume levels, but you probably won't need to do that for a, you know, like a professionally created background track. And so for background music that's going to be playing behind something where there's talking going on, you're gonna to wanna to bring that volume way, way down, like probably down further than you think it should be. You really wanna be careful that the background music isn't going to be a distraction from what's really being said in the video. That's assuming that there's there's some voice audio happening there too. If there's no voice there, there's nothing for it to compete with, then you can play around with what you think the uh, volume should be for the background music. But if there are words being said in the video, you don't want the viewer to have to strain to actually hear what's being said. Now, a really easy way to create background music that's just like entirely way too distracting is when it just comes on out of nowhere or cuts out out of nowhere for no reason. And so in order to 
create a fade in and a fade out effect here inside of ScreenFlow, set your whole entire background track to a volume of zero and then hit action up here. It's going to um, come down here at the bottom just so you can see. Uh, we have this extra little layer here within the audio track and this is an action. And so what we wanna do is we wanna tell screen flow that when this action happens, we want to bring the audio up to 7%. Looking up here in the volume area, as I bring the scrubber bar over, it's going to go from zero to seven. So it's gonna fade up to seven and then stay at seven. So we're fading the music in. And if we want to shorten or lengthen the duration of that fade in, all we have to do is drag the end here. So that will change how quickly or slowly the music fades in. Some background tracks will naturally fade in. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. You're gonna do the same thing at the end of your background track over here and it'll be the same process here. So you're going to hit action again and you're gonna come down here and you're going to say, okay, we want this to be at zero. And then you're gonna move this to the very tail end. We'll make this a little bit longer. And now you can see that the background track is going to be at 7% and then it's going to fade down to zero. So that's how you can fade in and fade out your background music. If you're using more than one song, you're going from like one background track to another, you probably want to have a nice gradual fade out and then a fade in again. So play around with the different settings to see what's going to sound best for your video. Now, where can you find royalty free background music and sound effects that is okay to use in your YouTube videos? I mentioned that there are tons of sources of royalty free background music. My two favorite places are my favorites because they are simple and straightforward and easy and there are lots to choose from. First, Epidemic Sound is where I get all of my background music and my sound effects for YouTube and social media. It's not free but it is affordable. They have a huge library of music with tons of songs and genres and sound effects as well. Now you can see it for yourself and actually listen to the music, see if you even like the music. You can try it free for 30 days if you use the link down in the description. Seriously, I can't say enough about Epidemic Sound. They're always creating new music and it's real music. It doesn't sound hokey like some of the other YouTube background music sound. So the way this works is you find a song that you like or songs that sound like the ones that you like, and then you can preview it by hitting the play button. If you like that song, go ahead and download it. I like to download the full mix. And the other great place to look for background music that is free to use is right within YouTube itself. YouTube has an audio library where you can search through genres and different types, different you know beats per minute, and you can find songs in there that you can use in your YouTube videos. Just make sure that you understand the terms and conditions for using that free music and that royalty free music in your YouTube videos. So when you pair sound effects and background music into your video or screencast, you really create a pro looking polished screen recording video right here within ScreenFlow. Now, if you're new to editing videos within ScreenFlow or you just wanna pick up a few new tricks, I have a video queued up over here for you. I think you're gonna love it. I'll see you there.